So I have tech and gadgets for you. And I've been doing my videos with a green screen and a table now. But introducing the brand new tech and gadgets for you studio. Welcome. We are going to be having some nano leaf lights and some na a nano leaf strip and these two monitors to help me record my videos. Is it going to look better or is it going to look worse? And why am I changing it so quickly when I just changed my setup? Well, here are some answers to that. Number one about the setup changing. I felt like that one, it was good. It served its purpose. But we needed an upgrade. Since I'm getting a new phone, I thought I'd upgrade everything to make the videos look even better. And is it going to be worth it? The change, is it going to be better? Well, don't worry. I'm going to be also upgrading more of it to make it look even better. So even though it does look good now, yes, I do admit it does look cool. I'm going to make it look even better in the coming next upcoming videos. And here's what the video is about. Should you connect your home? I spent $110 connecting these lights to that home pod. And now, times that by every room of your house, plus other items, not just lights. Is it worth it? Well, you're gonna find out in this video. I am Tech and Gadgets for you. In the new setup, let's start. So first, let me start off by explaining to you what I mean by connecting your home. Well, you may know about the Apple HomePod right here or right there. It's like an Am uh, Amazon Alexa. And if you don't know what a HomePod is, go check out my other video. It's right here. Different companies teamed up with Apple to make it so they can connect their different items to the HomePod. For example, I have some LEDs in my room and they're called, they're from the company Nanoleaf. And Nanoleaf teamed up with Apple to make it so you can connect it. So you can just tell it, hey Siri, change the lights to blue. Just like that, the snap of a finger and a few words, you now have a blue room. It's really cool. And I have a whole video on the Nano Leaf lights. Go check it out. I'm going to put this one right here. Yeah, that's a good spot. Now, besides lights, they have security cameras, garage doors, locks, outlets, sprinklers. There's so many that I have. It's crazy. And you can all connect it to that thing or that thing. It's really cool. And now you don't have to get up and go check if the front door is locked. You can just ask it and be like, hey, is the front door locked? And it'll be like, yes or no. It's super cool. So now you know what I mean by connecting your home. So there are three pros to this. Wait, let me make this a good thing. Hey Siri, change the lights to green. There you go. So the first pro, number one, is that you can check the items from anywhere. Say you set up some security cameras around your house. And it said there was motion in the backyard. Well, all I have to do is go to this cool app called the home app that is all installed on all apple phones and you can just go to the camera and check Ooh, who was back there it was just a cat that's probably what's going to happen second pro is that it's more efficient and quicker so once you get used to the home app and learn that the front door is here the locks are here the sprinklers are here you can easily just open the home app and hit that and it'll activate it if and plus you can set scenes like, for example, you can set the lights to turn on when you get home. And when you get home, you can also set to make it the outlet send power to the coffee machine. It sounds complicated, but once you figure it out, it's not that complicated. Now, using the scenes that I just told you about, you can set your daily tasks to happen in seconds. Say when you get up in the morning, you want to turn the light on the bathroom, start the coffee machine, and unlock the garage door. You can do that super quickly. All you have to do is get out of bed or even stay in bed hit open the home app and hit scene or whatever you named it say morning routine and it'll turn the light on set the outlet to send power to the coffee machine and unlock the garage door so it makes your daily tasks quicker and well not just quicker much quicker the third pro is that it'll make you feel safer if you set up the locks 
the doorbell and the security cameras, you can trust the whole map to make sure you will be perfectly safe. So now, if you hear a rumbling in the front at your front door and you get an alert motion detected at front door, all you have to do is go to the home app and check. Plus, it doubles as 911 because it's a phone. Once you check the home app and say there's a burglar in front of it, you can just quickly swipe and go to the, the call and type 911, and it'll be perfect. So you don't have to get up and check and risk your life. All you have to do is go to the home app. So here's the final conclusion. Should you connect your home? I say yes for certain people. If you're someone who doesn't mind spending lots of money for technology like me, then I say yes, go ahead and connect your home. But also, if you're a person who wants to do it but doesn't want to spend that much money that quickly, all you have to do is buy it in small amounts. Buy one thing every month or wait until your item breaks. So say your fan is slowing down and starting to die, then replace it with a fan that can connect to the HomePod. If you are a person that's like that, then I say yes. So that concludes this video. I hope you liked the new setup. It took me a long time to do. And don't worry, I'll be upgrading it. Just to make it look even better. Leave a like if I helped you out. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I am Tech and Gadgets for you. And I'm signing off. I'll see y'all later. Bye.